Decision 2022 is quickly approaching with election day just three weeks from today. Early voting kicks off next Monday, and we know that many of you might be thinking about all of the problems Harris County suffered in March's primary, Keith. Daniela, delivery of the voting machines and tabulating the vote were just two big challenges voters face. Now, the Harris County Elections Administrator is gearing up to make sure things are much smoother on November 8th. KPRC2 investigates Mario Diaz spoke with officials and voters about the concerns. Halloween decorations back out on the front lawn. But this is one of those years where the other lawn decorations are also prominently displayed, generating interest and questions. I'm very concerned about this. C.W. McLeod plans to vote in Harris County the second Tuesday of November, as does his neighbor, Chad Reed. I'm not concerned at all. Their opinions are reflective of what many are thinking, focusing squarely on the elections process, specifically the Harris County voting machines. I think there is concern. And the source of concern stems from the county's performance in previous elections, according to the Republican and Democratic Party chairs. There's been issues with the paper going through. There have been issues with did it get read properly. Uh, and I think in addition to how the primary was run, all the issues that were there, I think it just adds to the angst over the machines. We don't hear anything much about the integrity of the machines. What we do hear, though, is that it's a different machine than what they are used to from the past, right? In Harris County, 11,203 machines will be rolling out to more than 180 polling locations for the midterm elections. Those machines will be handling one of the longest ballots in the nation, depending on your precinct. I'm excited about where we are. Meet Clifford Tatum, the new Harris County Elections Administrator. He has one job, to ensure your vote gets counted without any issues. The machines are doing what they've been designed to do. Tatum came on board following the massive challenges former elections administrator Isabel Longoria had in March. During a recent interview with KPRC2 Investigates, Tatum not only conveyed his confidence in the integrity of voting machines, but also the testing process. So every machine goes through a calibration process, and, and as I mentioned, we take the system as a whole through a logic and accuracy testing. So as we calibrate each machine and get it ready for the voting process, we then seal that machine so that there's a control number associated to that machine. We then know where that machine is being deployed out into the field. But what are the chances of a voting machine being hacked? For that answer, we go to New York City. I think our election systems are quite, quite safe. NYU professor Justin Kapos is viewed as one of the foremost experts on hacking from finances to elections. The Harris County machines look like they've really done um, their homework on on almost all the steps that one could want. Kapos says the paper trail Harris County machines are now producing is pivotal as it provides a checks and balances system for voters. Having a paper ballot uh, that you can later go back and do audits with if you need to, um, that the voter can verify and that drops in. That's really the gold standard. In the past, you'd have a voter say, well, how do I know my vote was cast as, was counted as I cast it? Well, the paper shows that. A backstop for potential problems, because if there are questions or an audit is called, Harris County voters will feel more empowered than in past elections because the proof will be on the paper. Overall, I think uh, they're exceedingly solid and I uh, would be extremely surprised if there were uh, any real problem with them uh, from a security standpoint. Tatum says the machines will be secured and tracked throughout the elections process, from early voting to the count, ensuring every vote is tabulated. Once they close at 7 p.m., 8 p.m., once the last voter is voted in line, then those results are brought down to us and there's checks and balances on, on that as well. Kapos says his greatest concern for any outside influence on the voting process is not so much on the machines, but the spreading of misinformation on social media to essentially influence voters. Mario Diaz, KPRC2 Investigates.